It's cloudy, hopefully it rains today, and hopefully late, nice rain. We can only pray and hope. Quick threw together this bed, in case it does. If not, I'll water it after. Um, I cleaned this up. This is the one that has the gourd growing up on the side trellis here. It had the melons, none of them, well, they all got eaten. So I cleaned it all up, replanted. All these seed packets only had a couple in it, so I figured I'll just fill this bed as full as I can and we'll see what happens. Why not? There's only a couple left. Use it up. Um, it's not enough for a full planting next year, so we'll just use it. So back there is arugula. And so this goes along, and so it's only about like a half of a row. Then I did some mustard greens. I've never grown them. Actually, that is not an empty packet. I just have never used them. They kind of chickened out. So we'll see if I like it. It's only a little bit of a row, and then next year I can know if I want to grow more of that. That's carrot seed. Um, it's a 62 day, so it's just so on the borderline. But I, I'll cover this. I have a dome if I need to, um, to finish that up. Let me just double check what variety this is. Yeah, yeah, I like that variety. Um, just a small batch, and that is uh, gar uh, coated seed. So that does not hold well to the next year. So that's why I wanted to get that cleaned up. And then a little bit, there was just a little bit of the green, and so I just didn't quite have enough green, so I used a little bit of purple kohlrabi. Some su choy, had a wee bit of that, and some bok choy, a little bit of that, and then a little bit of lettuce, just a uh, rose de, de have. sorry, there's tractors going by, um, rocky top lettuce, and some spinach, so that's all planted in here. I really packed it full in hopes to get something, so... I don't know, it's a gamble at this time of the year to plant, um, so we'll just do what I can. And then I'm also gonna be planting peas in other places, and um, oh, I have some zucchinis that are short days, so I'm gonna quick plant those as well in another spot. So I cleaned up this area along from like that tag all the way down to here. Got this all cleaned up. There's some of my other squash plants that I have. And I got just some really quick day um, summer squashes. This is a golden uh, zucchini. Um, I'll just did that one because it's quick. And I had this one that's a 35 days, so it's real nice and quick um, too. And it's a green one. Um, so maybe we'll get some squash out too. So I have a dahlia row right here, very small dahlias. And then so from them all the way down to those rocks, I decided to put in some more turnips. So in that far bed right over there, that's my random bed I call it, um, I decided to plant some Swiss chard and it's just the greens pretty much. Um, I wanted to try that this year and I had forgotten earlier. And then this Ben Husen, I tried planting this a few times now and it hasn't happened yet for me. And there was only like maybe five or six seeds. So in my random bed that I have, I'm just putting some random things. So I got a bunch of things planted. Um, and then the other day I planted some cucumbers and then I planted, um, just trying to remember what I all planted. I can't even remember. I planted a bunch of other things too. So I got a bunch of things planted today, mostly greens. Um, I really wanted those turnips. So we have some more um, root crops um, and then some other little random things. I really want to plant peas yet. Um, and I think peas is like my big one that I want to plant yet. And I want to do a large amount. So I'm kind of thinking I might rip out all of my radishes that I have in between my carrots because uh, the carrots will be coming out sooner than later and so I'm thinking possibly if I plant them in the middle again like I did my radishes um, that I can by the time those carrots are ready to be pulled that the be peas but I just I have to kind of figure it out I have to kind of look again and I'll 
kind of searched my garden again. I've been, there's also another spot beside my, um, right over here is my pepper row. And uh, so possibly there's enough room between the edge of the garden and the peppers that I could do a row there too. So I just have to kind of make my decision on where I for sure want to do that. But I really want to do a big um, amount of peas again. I'm just trying to think what else is going to be being pulled soon. My onions aren't far enough along, so I won't be pulling those yet. And so I just have to kind of play around with it. I have another spot down where I lost a bunch of squash. So I have like three squash plants and then I have like a half a row. So um, if I look at my seed packets in the house again, I might find something else that I want to quick throw in that spot. I might have the space. I might as well fill it as full as I can. And the seeds, um, every year, the, the seeds are good enough that they will be able to be used next year. The germination, germination just will go down a lot. So I might as well use them now. Um, so I want to do that, but uh, it's getting really, really hot. So I might just leave this for now. Think about it a little bit more and then I'll come back to it maybe tonight I it's still cloudy I mean but we've had days where they've told us a hundred percent chance of rain and we've got nothing so this is only I think a 40 or 50 percent chance so I'm not banking on it <laughs> so uh, last night I uh, way down there looks darker down there um, my corn really needed it and so I just did that whole end. I left that soaker hose going the whole night. So I'm just going to kind of move it along and uh, keep that going because it's just dry. And uh, especially now that I put more seeds in the ground, I need them to have some moisture so that they germinate and hopefully get something. I mean, it is a long shot. It's July. It's the end of July. So some of these things, sure, we'll have enough time, but some of them are kind of borderline. So we'll just uh, have to see. Um, anyways, thanks. Uh, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Bye.